racing. What's happening? Friday around lunchtime. Is it hot, Bubs? Hot. Hot. And humid. And humid. We, uh, we're getting everything ready to go to Sabine Speedway tonight. Uh, we decided, as y'all seen last night, we decided not to take the street stock. Just too much to do. We worked till a little after midnight last night. So we just going with our little trailer, taking the four wheeler golf cart, pit bike, and we're gonna go race tonight. Our talent's gonna drive the 955 this weekend. What's the, what's the plans? Uh, Manny, we'll Sabine tonight. And then uh, if we do good and don't tear anything up, which hopefully we don't, and then we'll run Arquitex tomorrow. Yeah, head on up to Architects for I don't know uh we're gonna stay the night at Sabine or try to if we get done early enough drive on up to Architect. This is about a two hour drive, hour and forty five minutes north. Uh I just hate being on the road and that big thing in the middle of the day. It gets hot. But we're gonna gather a few things up and uh go get some groceries and we're going to get ready to hit the road in a little while. We'll kept, catch up with y'all after a while. Peace. What's happening? It's Friday about 5 o'clock. We're fixing to head out to uh, Sabine Speedway. Me and Hallie's walking out to the motorhome now. Talon's already out here somewhere. There he is. Talon, you ready? Ready. Ready. It's hot, son. Y'all check out Hallie's new swag right here. Hallie got her a tank top. Let's see the back. Pink. I think Mama got her a, a neon yellow one. That's just we know they Perry wanted some tank tops for as hot as it is. Uh, if y'all seen on Talent Willis Racing on Facebook, we uh, posted that we made another order of shirts but I think we've already sold like 20 something shirts this morning just since the post so hopefully they last but got the blue, gray, and black of this style right here but Talon's helping Howley get in the motor home and we're fixing to head out we'll see y'all at Sabine crazy what you fixing to do go hot lap yes sir uh how many limiteds here do you know i think it's maybe like only like 14 or 15 yeah 13 14 15 good yeah where you start i think third in the second heat all right we're fixing to go out for hot lap but uh we'll catch up with y'all in just a bit what's up we uh just got done with hot laps uh went out i think um like we're like a third group out uh not that many cars, but we went out. We were a little snug, track still a little slimy whenever I went out, but I mean, uh, I think I still would have been able to tell. But uh, well, I was a little snug right in the center, but I uh, told Mr. Chad, and he said he'd go and make some changes. Uh, we got everybody helping tonight, so uh, we're ready to go. Uh, I think I started third in the heat race. Second heat, I think, like I said earlier, I don't think it's that many cars, like 14 or 15. But uh, passing point, so we really need to try to win it to get Decent amount of pass points, the fast one car. I don't know how good we'll be. But uh, we're ready to go. We're going to try to get us a uh, win. If not, just don't tear up in the heat race and uh, try to at least pass one car for sure. But uh, we're going to try to get done and uh, I'll catch y'all there probably after the heat race. And I'll let y'all know how the car will be. So, see you. Getting ready for the heat. Case, what's Talon going to do tonight? Win. He's going to win? Win. Is that who you pulling for or not? You come to help tonight? That's right. Talon, you ready? Look at, look at Tegan hiding over there. Tegan hiding over there. He said he wanted to sing the national anthem. He's hiding over there. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Tegan, what's wrong, son?
heat's over. What? Uh, where'd you start? And what happened? I think I started third, made uh, laughing two, three laps, and got hit. Well, I mean, what 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 happened? You come in and you was like, did I do something wrong or something? Yeah, what? I, don't what? Know. I thought I threw the slider and I didn't know. I knew I thought I cleared him and I like, well, I just watched the video. I did. I don't know. I hit the cushion and was coming down, and the other dude was sliding up. And, I mean, I guess you could say we just kind of met in the middle. Racing, huh? Yeah, just racing hard. Well, the way I look at it, probably a bad deal, but part of, part of it. You, uh, it was it. a bad deal with the late model last week. You got into somebody but, or two weeks ago, but all I know is we'll have to start probably 13th of the feature. Yeah. See what she's made of. Oh, yeah. We're going to go over everything, see uh, if anything's been. I know it killed a wheel, a brand new tire. Uh, gonna make sure nothing else has been. It was a pretty hard leg. Uh, but we'll get it all fixed up. Go out there for the feature. Just dry it out. I think that'll be a plus. But anyway, we'll catch up with y'all in a bit right before the feature, probably. Alright, what's up? Uh, about to go out for the feature in a little bit. Uh, heat race. Y'all kind of already know what happened. Uh, I just figured out we start 10th in the feature. Uh, few cars behind us but we're kind of not mid-pack but we're more towards the back but uh gonna try to go past a few cars uh i don't know we got 20 laps to do it we're gonna try to do it if not well we ain't gonna settle for nothing we're either i guess we're gonna win it or come close to winning it one two but uh i'm ready to do it uh mr chad said the car set on dig so I guess he just left it up to me. It's my job to get it done, but uh, we're ready. Uh, like I said, start 10, uh, 20 laps, uh, ready to go. And uh, I'll catch y'all after the feature. Uh, maybe catch y'all after I win. But uh, just don't tear up for tomorrow and uh, try to get at least top five. But uh, ready for it, so I'll catch y'all later. Get it. 
If y'all weren't already aware, race fans, this kid's pretty good. He's pretty good. Started 10th tonight and used a little bit of patience there and used those late race restarts to his advantage, and he picked the pocket of every single car that was in front of him from the drop of the initial green flag in Talon. Willis sells the victory lane for his third consecutive win here at Sabine. Here he is, race fans, climbing out from 10 Mile, Louisiana. Talon Willis back in victory lane for the third consecutive time. Talon, you started 10th tonight. How much patience did you have to use there? Kind of what was your game plan when you started out from the initial green flag? You started 10th. How much patience did you have to use out there? Oh, you had to use a ton of patience. Uh, I knew patience was going to be key. I figured uh, a few of them were uh, going to get a few a little squirrely. Everybody was going to be uh, getting into each other, checking up and all that. So I knew if I could just keep my nose clean and uh, just be patient, like you said, and uh, come out on top. What kind of pep talk do you and your dad have before the drop of the green flag? Is he's the one telling you out there to, hey, just bide your time and, you know, the seas will part for you? Oh, yeah. He told me just be patient and uh, smooth right around the bottom and slow and steady. And uh, actually, everybody gave me a pep talk on the uh, crew tonight. What's been the method to the madness at this racetrack, though? You've been really, you've been really good at getting around. This is your 11th win of 2023 tonight. You got a win at Boot Hill, Arklatex, Sabine. You've got wins at Glenmora. You've been just really good everywhere you've been. But you've been really good here, back to back to back for you tonight. How good does it feel to pick up another win tonight here, Manny? Oh, it feels awesome. Uh, the reason why I'm sitting here right now is because uh, Miss Chad Comer, Miss Robert, Miss Brandy Pooter. I mean, they uh, do everything for me. I just show up here at the track and uh, drive. 
But uh, just everybody that helps on the car, uh, couldn't thank them enough. We talked about this last time. It's pretty cool when somebody can trust you with their equipment, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It means the world to me. Absolutely. Is there everybody else in addition you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Griffith Truck Sales, uh, Mr. Chad, uh, Comer, Robert Metz, Miss Brandy, Pooter, my mom and dad for bringing me, uh, Lane, Tegan, Mr. Matt, Bernie, all them guys, uh, all in uh, One Plumbing, Chad Comer Consulting, AARE Race Engines, uh, Curse and Son Companies, r and Truck Repair, uh, and all you fans for coming out. Final thing, I don't think this is silly. Tell race fans where they can find you racing on Monday nights online. You play iRacing. You're one of the best. You're a pro series driver, one of the best in the world in uh, the world of Outlaws Lake Models. Tell them where they can find you racing on Mondays. You can find me on uh, Dirt Vision. It uh, goes live at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, we race every Monday. It's also on Facebook Live as well, folks. Hey, congratulations, man. It's another one. 11th win of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. There he is, folks. Talon Willis out of 10 Mile, Louisiana, scores another victory tonight. I was really good at Mario Kart at 14. I don't, I don't know. This kid's pretty good behind the wheel of a real race car at 14. Well, we over here in tech. What do you think about the car tonight? Good, money. It was money. Yeah. Hey, you know it was only 15 laps instead of 20. I didn't know I that. I knew it felt like it was a lot. I, like, whenever I took the lead, I was like, dang. He showed the five to go. I was like, yeah. The car was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. I don't know. Uh, you passed everybody on the bottom, and then you move up to the middle. I was like, what in the world is Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have. I thought it was going to be. I seen it start cleaning off, so I went down there and tried it, and it wasn't no good, so I went back to the bottom. Good job. What about the, they about to have this wide body wing car race, uh, or wide body modified. I don't know if these cars are big blocks or what, but it's like the big, big block cars. But anyway, we go over here. We in the infield in tech. We're going to see what they're going to do. And, We'll catch up with y'all after a while. Holly Bun. Hey, look right here. Hey, look right here. Look, look. Look at that. Did Bubba win? Did your Bubba win? Did Bubba win? Are you going to smile because he won? Huh? Or clap? Neither? Okay. Let's go over here and give him a hug. Come on. Tell him, Holly won't tell you good job. Give him a high five, girl. Go give him a high five. Give him five. Good job, Bob. Well, we didn't tear nothing up. Where are we going tomorrow? Architect. Architect Speedway. Here we come. We'll try to catch up with y'all one more time before the night's over with. Uh, we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, races are over. We out here getting the car ready. Brandy's wiping it down. Robert's doing wheels, talent, and Chad's doing tires. We're trying to uh, we're trying to get everything done before that heat gets here tomorrow. Tegan, what'd you think about the night, son? Good. Good. Turn and look at me right here, son. What you getting ready for? <laughs> Lane, what'd you think about the night? Good night. Good night of racing. Good night. Started we're, off rough, but we're good now. We're trying to beat that heat tonight yeah. before it gets hot tomorrow. Anyway, going to has got to mount some tires. Robert's fixing some wheels. Like I say, Chad's helping Talon, teaching Talon. Brandy done wiped the car down. So uh, we're going to work tonight and... Get it loaded up and stay here tonight and uh, head to Architects in the morning. Uh, y'all let us know what y'all thought about Talon. Uh, thought he did pretty good. But anyway, y'all like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and uh, we'll see y'all on the other side.